As video games become more realistic, detailed, and immersive, their hardware requirements grow steeper. However, people are not replacing their computers as often as they did a decade ago, and an increasing number of people play games on their mobile phones or handheld consoles. These devices are powered by GPUs that are much weaker than state-of-the-art desktop GPUs. For mobile devices, this is caused by the fundamental constraints of form factor, power consumption, and heat dissipation. These constraints create a performance gap that is unlikely to go away, a gap that results in a less appealing experience. To address this problem, gaming and graphics companies have explored a thin client approach in which a remote entity executes and renders the game on behalf of the user's device, sending the graphical output over the network as compressed video. This approach helps bridge the performance gap at the expense of network bandwidth, which can be substantial for high-quality video at high resolutions and frame rates. Kawaii explores a hybrid approach that we call collaborative rendering. This approach takes advantage of the client device's GPU and CPU, which are usually neglected in thin client approaches, and instead uses them to render lower detail or lower frame rate versions of the game, requiring only the missing information from the server, which is more compact. Kawaii supports two modes, Delta and iFrame. In Delta mode, the client renders frames at full rate using low detail settings, while the server renders them at full rate using both high and low detail settings, computing then a difference which it sends as compressed video. In iframe mode, the client instead renders frames at low rate using high detail settings. The server renders frames at full rate and high detail, but only sends the subset of the frames that the client missed, encoding them as P frames. Because the frames rendered in the client are not compressed, it is possible to apply very aggressive compression to the server frames without a noticeable loss in quality. We implemented Kawaii for both Doom 3 and Street Fighter 4. We enable deterministic execution support in Doom 3 through source code modification and in Street Fighter 4 through system call interception. In our evaluation, we found that Kawaii can reduce bandwidth consumption by a factor of 6 with minimal impact to delay. We also found that the user experience of Kawaii is comparable to that of a traditional thin client system, according to a user study conducted with 50 participants within the company. Now, let's see Kawaii in action. Here, we see Doom 3 running on a Surface Pro 3 with high detail settings. The game does not run smoothly because the computer is not fast enough to deliver 60 frames per second, instead rendering between 12 and 20 frames per second. While this frame rate is insufficient for an enjoyable experience, it is well suited to be turned into a wonderful experience with Kawaii's iframe mode. Before showing Kawaii, first let's see how this scene would look like rendered remotely and transferred using traditional H.264 video streaming at 1 megabit per second. Notice the blocky artifacts that appear because of heavy compression. Now let's look at Kawaii running the same sequence on the Surface Pro 3 at 1 megabit per second. With Kawaii, we obtain the full detail of the game at full frame rate. An H.264 stream of equivalent quality would have required 7 megabits per second. Here we have the same scene rendered at a level of quality that the Surface Pro 3 can handle. It is easy to tell the missing details, especially in the textures. While this experience is playable, it is highly unappealing. Fortunately, as we can see now, Kawaii in Delta mode can provide the missing details. Once again, we have high detail mode at full frame rate. While the quality is not as high as that delivered in iframe mode, Kawaii's Delta mode allows collaborative rendering on devices that are unable to deliver at least 10 frames per second in high quality settings. Kawaii, high quality mobile gaming at low bandwidth cost.